Okay, everybody. Our judges deliberating. Um, we had a really great lineup tonight with our with our teams, and they they had their hands full picking picking who's going to be joining us in Texas for the finals. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and make this short. Um, it's kind of crazy. It feels like we were here just yesterday picking a team. <laughs> feels feels like it just happened. <laughs> so we're, we're one step away from having a re Eastern Regional Finalist. That's going to be our first place. And we're also picking a second place winner that is going to be the wild card slot. They will also be performing at the finals. So let me go ahead. I'm actually going to welcome... Um, U.S. team last year Coconut Bubble Sex Cosplay, Katie George, going to say a few words to y'all. Um, they won with their Princess Tutu last year and went to Japan. Hi, I, I don't have anything prepared because I was told that I was going to speak like maybe an hour ago, so I apologize. Um, but I did want to say that um, it was so exciting to get the opportunity to go behind the curtain, as I like to say, and be on the other side of the of the judging for World Cosplay Summit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, just like our skit last year, Princess Tutu. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, it, it really, it's so nerve-wracking. I mean, I was just here, and I know how nerve-wracking it is to be where you are right now. Um, I mean, my my heart was beating so fast, and I was so nervous, and, and I was like, is it going to all be worth it? And I think whether you win or lose, it's still worth it. It's, it's always going to be worth it to get a chance to compete in a competition like this. World Cosplay Summit is an absolute honor. It is one of the best honors that can be bestowed upon a cosplayer, in my opinion, to get this opportunity to discover cosplay on the international level. Um, and I do think as far as your cosplay career goes, I know some people hate calling it a cosplay career, it really is, it's a, it's a life, life changer. So um, whatever you guys do, win or lose, keep competing, keep competing, keep coming back. Diamond and I competed in 2008, and we lost horribly to to uh, Dia and Elizabeth, who's not here. Uh, but uh, and then we came back in 2012, and, and the stars aligned, and that's all it is. It's just the stars aligning. It's not that you're you know not a good enough cosplayer, not a good enough performer. Um, so just keep doing your best and keep coming back. And uh, who knows? Maybe maybe one day you'll be here giving a speech that you had to give and you were told an hour before. So, all right, um, so that, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, you guys did a fantastic job. Thank you so much for coming out to perform. Okay, all right. Well, the time has come, ladies and gentlemen, cosplayers and crossplayers. Our judges have made their decision. All right, we have the United States Eastern Qualifier Organizers Award for a Best Resume to Fox Gloves. And the third place for the Eastern Qualifier goes to Kiwi Teacup Studios. Congratulations. And now we have the second place, which is the wild card slot, and they will be competing in Texas later on. Awarded to Fox Gloves. And now are you guys ready for our Eastern Qualifiers winning team? All right, this team is going to Houston to Anime Matsuri and competing for the World Cosplay Summit U.S. Finals. And they are Karma Luna Cosplay!
everybody. So I want to thank you all for coming out tonight and uh, enjoying our show and supporting World Cosplay Summit. I want to thank Katsicon for having us, uh, El Gento, American Cosplay Paradise, my judging staff, all my assistants, and the participants for their hard work. Always thanking Yaya for a uh, for hosting for us, and your support means a lot to me and World Cosplay Summit. And last but not least, I would like to give my give my thanks to Arda Wings for always supporting us with pricing. So thank you, thank you everybody for coming out, and we'll see y'all at the next round. Thank you.